I'm actually just going to concentrate this week on Eileen and Hamiltonian graph. And I'm going to do a quick summary of the graph so that you have time to do some work. Tomorrow we'll do a weekly review. All right? So today is just basically summary what I taught you on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. It's quite important really for you to know the distinct difference between Eulerian and Hamiltonian graph. Now, that's the main purpose of this lesson. I find that uh, in the past few years, this in the graph theory, this is a bit that people are really confused about between trill and path. All right? So now, remember, trill means the ages cannot be repeated. You can repeat the vertices. All right? Let's talk about general term trills. I'm not going to the Eulerian and the Hamiltonian yet. All right? Whereas path, there will be, uh, it could be open or closed trill. Path that's open and closed. And again, think about path. Path is something that you cannot repeat the ages. You cannot repeat the vertices. That's the main difference. Walk, it can be anything. Very uh, often I've seen questions ask you to just keep a walk. So it doesn't have to be a trail or a path. A walk just means a general thing. All right, example of a walk. Question will ask you, example of a trail, example of a path. You've got to be make sure that at this stage, if just a trail and a path, not talking about Hamiltonian or oil name again. All right, just an example. But specifically, I would see a lot of questions asking you for a trail, or uh, for Eulerian trail, or uh, 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 an example of Hamiltonian cycle. All right? Now, Eulerian graphs. An Eulerian trail is a trail that passes along every edge exactly once. If it ends and starts at the vertex, it is an Eulerian circuit. Now, the thing is, uh, Skarsa doesn't really use the word circuit. I'm using the word circuit here to uh, make sure that you know it starts and closed. Uh, it starts at one vertex and finishes the other one. It's a close, close uh, trail. All right? For both Eulerian and Hamiltonian graphs, they must be connected graph. An Eulerian graph is connected graph which is traversable, starting and finished at the same vertex. And just remember, Eulerian graph must have no odd vertices, all even vertices. So if an Eulerian trill does not end at the starting vertex, it is said to be a semi Eulerian trill. Alright? Which is basically an open wall, <coughs> which passes through every single uh, uh, ages once. No repeat of ages. So a semi Eulerian graph is connected graph which is traversable starting and finishing at different vertices. It must have exactly two odd vertices. Now, those two are just what you look up for. All right, the characteristic of the graph. So if you're asked to explain what an Eulerian graph is, an Eulerian graph is a connected graph which is traversable, starting and finishing at the same vertex. All right, and if they ask you to um, explain what semi Eulerian graph is, is connected graph which is traversable, starting and finishing at a different vertex. Use the word that I gave you. All right, they are particular, pretty particular about words. Hamiltonian graph. Now, again, like I say, a Hamiltonian path is not really used now, but I need to make you aware. For the past few years, we've been using the word Hamiltonian path. It just says that it's a path that passes through each vertex exactly once. All right, so it could be. Uh, and open. This one just means a walk that passes through all the vertices. So if I've got vertices, I've got something like this, a network like this. So what it would do, you would do is a path. You could go from here to there, down, down. All right, from one A to B to C to D. It basically a uh, an open. Oh, open um, path. <laughs> All right. So if it started at the vertex and um, 
ends at the starting vertex, it is said to be a Hamiltonian cycle. So you start and finish at the same vertex. So if I go in this case A, B, C, D, and A, this is Hamiltonian cycle. All right? Whereas A, B, C, D is semi-Hamiltonian. If um, you can, you, the only way to describe a Hamiltonian graph is a connected graph which has a Hamiltonian cycle, right? Which means it passes through every every single vertex and no repeats of vertices or uh, edges, and it goes back to the same starting point. And a semitonal graph is a connected graph which has a semitonal path, but not a cycle. All right. Now, some example here. Let's look at this. You've got. How would you describe this? Is it a Hamiltonian graph or an Eulerian graph? In fact, if you look at this, we realize that it's got even, 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 all even. So it could be Eulerian graph. All right? But if you look at something like this, you can do a, you can call it a semi-Hamiltonian uh, graph as well. Because you've started from A and you finish on at G. And you pass it through every vertices without, every single vertex without uh, repeating it. So really in this case, you can explain it two ways. All right, the graph is Eulerian as there's no odd vertices. This is one uh, example, Eulerian circuit. And the graph is Hamiltonian. It has a, it does have a Hamiltonian cycle. B, C, D. Ah, yeah, it does have a Hamiltonian cycle. Oh. All right, so I did not draw it properly. I can go up here, down, and back. Yes, it does have a Hamiltonian cycle. See, it is tricky. It is tricky. It's not, uh, if you draw it the wrong way, like just now I drew it the wrong way, so it's semi Hamiltonian. But in fact, it's not, it's the Hamiltonian. It caught me, all right? Even my own example caught me. So just realize that things like this could happen, all right? Now, uh, it also has a uh, semi Hamiltonian. It, it actually describes as a Hamiltonian cycle. Let's not really worry about Hamiltonian path, but it can be, can be an open, open Hamiltonian, um, open, open path where you start from A, B, C, D, E, G, and uh, finish at S. All right? So it is, it is tricky looking at this, it is tricky. So what about this? Think about this, could it be Olivier? Could it be uh, Hamiltonian? I mean, this, this is actually something that you would, uh, they, would they will ask you a question like this. How, how many odd vertices are there? Exactly two. Oh, right? It's semi Eulerian and it's helpful. Semi Eulerian because they're exactly two vertices. I mean, this is how <laughs> you time. analyze a graph. <laughs> it's alright, buddy. It's alright. Alright? Oh, yeah, it does not have any Eulerian circuit, but it has a semi Eulerian trail. You can go from D. A, B, oh hang on, you gotta start from here. You gotta do it this way. Uh, for a semi Eulerian trail, D, C, E, B, A, B, and E. All right? You finish at uh, E. Because you cannot repeat this H to go back. So you, if you start from here, it's this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and to D. So you start from E back to D. Or you can yeah, start from D. Yeah, yeah. D, R, uh, uh, I will have that path. Five I'll go here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> and back to E. You cannot go back to D at all. Alright? <laughs> so you got to think about how you could uh, name the, uh, the field or the 
path. Um, the path is, sem is Hamiltonian because it has a Hamiltonian cycle. One example, E, C, D, A, B, E. All right? What about this? Could it be uh, Eulerian? Uh. How many odd? There's one odd, two odd, three odd, and four odd. So it cannot be Eulerian. Or semi Eulerian. More than two odd vertices. Yeah, it's Hamiltonian. And it's Hamiltonian. It has a Hamiltonian cycle. It can go from E, B, A, D, C, and E. Alright? What about this one? It cannot be either actually. Um, no, sorry, it has it can be it has a semi eulerian because there's one odd. One odd here and one odd here. So you could go this way, down, back to B, F, and go all the way to G, D. That's possible. Like I say it is tricky. You yeah, yeah, really yeah. have to be you able to be analyze, just, analyze yeah. the graph. So this is not uh, It cannot be any Eulerian circuit because it is you can't go back from B to A. Now, occasionally the question will ask you if something like this happened, can you, you've got a semi Eulerian graph, can you make an Eulerian graph? That would be just connecting A to B. That's all. Obvious for this one, uh, but some graph is not as obvious. All right, you've got to really think. So this one is obvious because if it is semi Eulerian, you go that way. And if you want to make it Eulerian, you can build another path. It's quite common. I've seen questions like um, this in terms of sort of have a parking lot here, parking lot here. How do you go back to the, the, the next parking lot? That's all. Sort of that sort of. All right. Okay. You must be able to uh, analyze the graph. Not, Hamil not Hamiltonian or semi Hamiltonian. You can't get a Hamiltonian cycle. What about this? It can't be anything at all, can it? It is connected. It is connected. But what is this called? What is this graph called? <laughs> Come on, you should know. What is this class called? A tree? Yes, a tree. It is a tree. <laughs> this is a this graph is a tree. Alright? It's more than two odd vertices. And it's not Hamiltonian and semi Hamiltonian. So you've got to be able to look at the graph and analyze it. This is a tree. Alright, it's a tricky one. What about this? How many odd vertices are there? None. All even, correct? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So it is? Yeah, it is. Are Sorry, yeah, go back. Which one? This one? It's a tree, my G. This one? Sorry? All right, this one. This. Wait, Larry. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's not Hamiltonian. Yeah, it's not. You can't. Eulerian, <laughs> there's no odd vertices at all. Example, Eulerian circuit. It's semi Hamiltonian graph, it's not Hamiltonian. Because you can visit every single vertex oh, yeah. once, but you cannot go back to the other, uh, the original one. So if you start start from the, you will go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and that's it. <laughs> or you can start from uh, C. 
If you go C, you can go to B, I already start with I. A, F, E, and D. But you can't go back to C without repeating B. So that's uh, semi Hamiltonian. All right? Um, the graph considered so far tells us the existence of an Eulerian circuit or semi Eulerian trail in the graph. Uh, but it tells us nothing about the existence of Hamiltonian path or Hamiltonian cycle. So you've got to be very careful. Eulerian circuit, you can actually test for it. All right? And semi Eulerian, you can test for it because semi Eulerian, you've got three, uh, exactly two odd vertices, whereas Eulerian is all um, even vertices. Whereas Hamiltonian graph, you just have to play around and move around. Yep? No, uh, generally, no, it doesn't have to be. No, it doesn't have to be a No, as long as they are from two onward, this is all. All right, that's all I have for you today. You've got enough exercises to do, so you can uh, start. Doing the exercise now. Tomorrow we'll do some review.